Today, we're going to talk about the benefits of energy drinks. Now, in theory, when you consume an energy drink, you're supposed to have more brain energy, exercise performance, more endurance. Your cells are supposed to be recharged. But in reality, most energy drinks out there will cause brain fog, less exercise performance, less endurance, and the ingredients will deplete your cells. Now, the big problem with energy drinks is that the ingredients don't give you real energy. These drinks are composed of two main things, caffeine and sugar. Let's take Red Bull, for example. 8.4 ounces gives you 80 milligrams of caffeine. A 16 ounce monster drink is 160 milligrams of caffeine. A 16 ounce Rockstar drink gives you 160 milligrams. The five hour energy drink, the real small one that has like 1.83 ounces, gives you 200 milligrams of caffeine. And guess what? Caffeine is not a fuel. It's a stimulant. It gives you this artificial sense that you have energy, but really it's just revving up your adrenal glands. Now the next problem is the crazy amounts of sugar that is in one of these drinks. One of these drinks has about 36 grams of sugar. That is crazy. What's gonna happen is your blood sugars are gonna spike and then the hormone insulin is gonna come in there and take that sugar and push it all the way down. And now you're gonna be really tired, irritable, and grouchy. And you're gonna want another drink because you need to actually bring the energy up with caffeine and more sugar and you're in this cyclic trap. Now you might be thinking, I'm gonna exercise, so I'm gonna be using up my energy, my glucose in the muscles, and so I need to replace that, right? So I'll just drink an energy drink, get the sugar and put it back. Well, a lot of the sugar that is in the energy drink is not just glucose. It's fructose, as in high fructose corn syrup, as in dextrose, which is synthetic corn syrup, or just corn syrup. So now you're getting a good portion of that fructose. And what a lot of people don't realize is the fructose only goes to your liver. It doesn't go to the muscles. It goes nowhere in your body except the liver. So if you're not feeding the muscles or other cells or your brain, it's not going to give you any energy at all. It's just going to be converted to more belly fat. Oh, and before I forget, if you haven't already subscribed, click the red button below and that little bell icon so you can be notified of all the new videos that I'm going to be releasing. And I have some very cool and interesting videos coming up in the next coming weeks. Plus, in addition to that, you'll be notified of the live Q&A sessions that I'm gonna be doing throughout the week and you don't wanna miss those as well. All right, so what's the problem you're trying to solve when you drink an energy drink? You're trying to get more energy, right? Well, the question is, why are you tired in the first place? Are you getting enough sleep? Are you taking the right nutrients? And these are the two nutrients that you need to look for on the back of the label when you buy an energy drink. The most popular sports drink or energy drink out there has 270 milligrams of sodium. That's not the main mineral that's gonna give you a lot of energy, okay? Potassium, it only has 75 milligrams. Your body needs 4,700 milligrams every single day. 75 milligrams is not even close to giving you a fraction of the amount that you need. And not to mention, of course, the sugar. These are the main ingredients of the most popular energy drink out there. You wanna find an energy drink that has all of the electrolytes, okay? Electrolytes are electrically charged minerals that help to energize your cells. And I'm talking about your muscle cells and the nerve cells. In other words, these minerals allow for electricity to travel through the body. Now, one of the big purposes of potassium is to help recharge your cell's battery. All your cells hold electrical charge to be able to keep the heart in rhythm, to be able to cause the muscles to contract and relax, in order to cause the nerves to transmit. So potassium is the key mineral to keep that battery at full capacity and prevent the drainage of energy in the cell. Magnesium, on the other hand, feeds the mitochondria. This is the energy factory. This is where all your energy is created in your cells. And without magnesium, you're not gonna have enough energy. 
So here's the thing. If you want the benefit of an electrolyte drink, make sure it has zero caffeine, zero sugar, and it's filled with a good amount of electrolytes. All right, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, click the red button below and that little bell icon so you can be notified of all the new videos that I'm gonna be releasing. And I have some very cool and interesting videos coming up in the next coming weeks. Plus, in addition to that, you'll be notified of the live Q&A sessions that I'm gonna be doing throughout the week and you don't wanna miss those as well. So stay tuned for more great content.